What I'm showing you here is the most classic definition of a pinhole camera. This 200 year old door in this old cottage in the Himalaya has several perforations in the metal iron door and each of these little perforations here acts as a very very basic simple pinhole camera and this plastic sheet put behind that metal acts as the plane of where the flame uh, the film uh, stock or the film uh, itself would be so what happens is that the basic definition of a pinhole camera is that light travels in a state straight line that's the principle behind a pinhole camera so what you see outside happening up up in the sky travels as a straight beam of light through the hole to the bottom of our frame here and what is happening in the ground outside travels as a straight beam of light upwards to the top of our frame as a result the image gets inverted hence the film on the film plane of a traditional 35mm film camera would record the image in an inverted fashion and of course then you would uh, use the film the other way around to get a real image but that's the basis of a lens as well the basic principle of a lens is that due to the light traveling in straight lines the image gets inverted now each of these little holes or perforations in this metal door outside is acting as a pinhole camera so each of these is an inverted image of the tree outside so that is an inverted image of the tree that is an inverted image of the tree and as I take this plastic sheet closer to the perforation on the door the image increases and decreases in size because the distance between the aperture which in this case is the perforation in the metal door and the plane on which the film would be situated gets increased hence the uh, size of the image also increases or decreases as one goes closer or further away from the image outside. Okay, now I'm going to shut this light here and you're going to see this image you're seeing of the tree upside down and as he walks left and right you'll actually see the person there. You actually have the image of the person walking outside in inverted form. See and you see him actually walking outside. Okay, so this is the principle of a pinhole camera and this is the classic example of how a pinhole camera functions and works in this old cottage in the Himalaya. As the distance between the aperture which in this case is the little perforation in the metal door increases as the plastic comes away from it the image size increases and each of these is an image of the tree outside in inverted form. So each and every perforation you see here is a pinhole camera in its own right. So each of these perforations here is giving us an image of what's happening outside. Okay. Now the person is going to cross the frame. See, that's a person outside who's crossing the frame and he's inverted. His head is at the bottom and his body is at the top. So you have a person walking outside this door <coughs> and his image is coming inverted. So you can see his head is at the bottom and his body is at the top. Do you see that? Do you see? Each of these is acting as an image of what's happening outside. So one, two, three. Each of these is acting as a pinhole camera and the person outside is coming as inverted. He's not walking upside down naturally. He's walking as he is. And this image given to us is he's waving his hand. He's lifting his hands. Okay, so this is the pinhole camera you've been seeing in this 200 year old cottage with this 200 year old door in the western Himalaya. And I'm going to open this door now to reveal to you the tree you've been seeing and to prove to you that it's not upside down and it's very much standing in the ground with its branches up towards the sky. So this is the image you've been seeing with our Himalayan pinhole camera.